It's a beautiful, approaching, summer-like weather here in Los Angeles, California. And I wanted to talk about the world of entertainment centers, audiovisual, and stereo equipment. In years past, it was very typical to get an entire wall unit that would fit on your wall with side piers that would be on either side of a projection screen TV. Those units were massive. They were up to three feet deep, quite tall. There would be a bridge with two piers. You put your stereo equipment in there. It was a great idea. It worked well with the projection televisions to try to make those enormous edifices disappear. But now we have flat screen TVs. They take up very little space. The depths are anywhere from three inches to five inches deep. And you can really open up a room by looking at your living room with new eyes. Take this entertainment center, for instance, right over here. This unit is 70 inches wide, 30 inches high. You can either attach the television set to the wall, or you can sit it right on there. And there's additional room on either side. This unit can be done with glass all the way across, or just glass in the middle. You have storage. You have room to put family pictures on the wall. You have room to put display on top of the cabinet. It is going to make your room look far larger than just trying to use the old piers that you used to have and just get a bigger bottom cabinet for it. The best use for those piers is put the two sides together and make it into a nice little curio cabinet to use in a different room. And then you can get a console. Now we make consoles that are anywhere from 36 inches wide to 14 feet long. These that I show here are just an example of some of the more standard sizes that we do. If you don't want to do a console wall and you just want to do something for the television set. This unit right here is 60 inches wide, 30 inches high. It's made out of solid Pennsylvania black cherry wood. It has English dovetail joints. It has dividers in there for DVDs. They are removable if you decide that you really don't need to use your DVDs anymore then you have a nice drawer for storage. There's holes in the back and it has the classic spindle side detail. This is made in our Ohio facility. This unit right here we've been making for many years. This is made here in our Los Angeles production facility. This is made out of red oak. The pieces that we make here in Los Angeles, we don't make standard variations custom. These are all production where we make a minimum of a dozen a piece and it keeps the cost down. And all of our Los Angeles production comes in four standard colors, California Mission, California Light, California Medium, and California Onyx. The unit below is in our Dutch Mission series. It is 24 inches high, which is fairly low. A lot of people look for this height. I personally find that the 30 or 36 inch height is a more serviceable height, but that takes some people a bit of convincing. Many people think they want it lower than that. Uh, when you're watching television on a recliner or on a sofa, you're generally reclining and looking up at an angle. So the further away the television is, the higher you want the TV to be mounted. This unit over here is another unit that we're making that we put the mullions on the doors, the tenons on the face frame. It's quarter sawn white oak with the beautiful tiger patterns, net one inch top, uh, we made this unit up for a customer custom, but we can make it any size. One, two, three, four, five doors, 24, 30, 36 high, 42 high. 
And if you really want to have some peers to go with these units, we'll build them for you with no problem whatsoever. Then you can keep to the way things used to be done at your option.